Well, hello everybody. Good day. This is Joe Van Cleve, and today I'm going to talk about repairing an old 4x5 inch sheet film holder and repurposing it for a new photographic project. Stay tuned. Well, I have a number of these used right way 4x5 inch sheet film holders, and this one in particular I haven't been using because the little metal handle part of the dark slide comes off and the reason why is because the dark slide is broken it's cracked right here and uh, it's made of a brittle kind of a plastic it's flexible but it's a lot harder than polypropylene and so the little holes that are in here that are supposed to be engaged by the little dimples in this metal strip uh, the plastic is just broken away and so it's kind of a waste both film holders are that way these are double sided the other one I don't even have the metal strip to it so what I did is I wanted to go out and look for a source of hard black kind of flexible plastic if I could find something I could use it as a replacement dark slide and so what I did is I went to my local office supply store and I know that they have this flexible plastic polypropylene uh, covers on notebooks and stuff and I went searching for some kind of notebook material like this a plastic material that I could use and what I found uh, about the thickest gauge that I could find was these insert sheets for the arc system the arc system is staples house brand of um, Levenger style circa hole punched uh, notebook kind of inserts and these are dividers made of polypropylene plastic so they are a little bit thinner and a little more flexible than the original plastic of the dark slide dark slides themselves but I thought you know for three dollars or whatever a pack of I don't know what it was four or six of these dividers I figured I would try it and see what I could do and so what I did is I used the old dark slide as a template for cutting the new plastic for scoring it and what I used to score it with was just my little Ulfa touch knife my little razor knife and a straight edge um, I marked the uh, sheets of plastic with a permanent marker pen and then uh, scored them and cut them and so what I've done well first of all if you notice on the corners of the original dark slides they have rounded uh, chamfered I guess corners on the two the side that goes into the holder and so I went ahead and chamfered those corners on my replacements what I did though is I didn't think it would be uh, it would work to drill tiny little holes along the edge and try to use this metal strip because this polypropylene plastic is really not strong enough uh, I think and uh, plus you have to recrimp this little aluminum channel to get it to work so instead of making them the original length I've made them a little bit taller a little bit longer and the way it works now is you insert the film holder like that and you have a little handle that sticks out and let me uh, slip both of these in here since it is double sided they are a little bit more flexible so you do have to be careful when you pull them in and put them in so they stick up a little bit higher but they both have a hole in the handle part that helps you to pull them out and you can tell when you're inserting them back in you can tell if they're not in all the way like for instance right let's say like there I can tell it's not in all the way because it's not lined up with the other hole behind it so it kind of gives you a little bit of a of a safety thing you can tell if the part here isn't fully into the slot on the flap like right there it doesn't want to go in and you can tell that it's not lined up all the way the hole isn't lined up so just gotta make sure the film holder is firmly pushed against the camera in order to reseat the holder so I haven't actually tested these uh, but I think for the project that I'm going to be using for they're going to be sufficient they are a little bit thinner than the original gauge but the felt light traps in the film holder here should be sufficient for the application I'm going to be using them for 
So if you want to do this yourself, uh, replace a broken dark slide in a double-sided film holder, I would advise if you do go to the office supply stores looking for flexible plastic, there's a slightly heavier gauge of polypropylene plastic that comes in these uh, their accordion file folders and the accordion part in the middle is made of clear plastic but the two covers are a black polypropylene and they're a little bit heavier gauge. Um, I should have probably used that but I decided to go with this because the extra dividers that I didn't use for this film holder project I can use in my notebooks. So what project was it that I'm going to be um, doing with this newly reconditioned film holder? Well, you might remember uh, from last week's video, I showed you this new project of this experimental little cardboard camera that uses a very primitive plastic magnifying lens doing what is called, or what I'm calling, lumen prints. And these were the two that I showed you last week. These were paper, photographic paper, that was exposed in the camera, not developed in any kind of photographic developer, but simply the paper auto-developed due to the intensity of the light. And the trick to it is that you wet the paper with water and it sort of accelerates the auto-development process. Um, now I said in that video that it was probably due to developer incorporated emulsion, the photographic emulsion in the paper having some developer incorporated into it. That may not be true. Um, not all photographic papers are developer incorporated, but even so, uh, silver halides will auto develop with enough intensity of light. So that's what's happening. It is uh, developing, auto developing itself, and, and somehow the water accelerates that process, it seems like. So what I'd like to do is have a quite a bit better optical quality. Instead of using a plastic Fresnel lens magnifier, I'd like to use a Fujinon, a large format lens in my speed graphic. That's a wonderful lens, wonderfully sharp and clear lens. Uh, but I didn't want to sacrifice one of my normal sheet film holders for this project because um, the little tracks, the bottom set of tracks in the holder where the paper goes underneath, uh, those tracks are made of metal. They are painted and they're probably aluminum. So they're not, it's not like they're going to rust, but um, so I'm going to try this now with this newly reconditioned film holder. I'm going to use this one film holder with 4x5 paper in the speed graphic and see if I can get some high quality lumen prints out in bright sunlight. And I still haven't really decided how I'm going to wet the paper. My concern is that uh, I know even dry there are times when it's difficult to get the film underneath the tracks here in the film holder uh, based on the tolerances of your particular film holder, how well it was managed and maintained, whether they've been pushed down tight and how thick the paper is. So my concern is if I pre-wet the paper and then try to slip it in here, it might not go underneath the tracks very easily. Um, I'm going to have to just experiment with it. It is plastic coated paper, however. So the other uh, thing that I could consider doing is using one of those foam uh, disposable painting brushes that you get at the hardware store or painting stores. And maybe I could paint on or brush on an even coating of water um, after the dry paper has been put into the holder already. I could sort of just brush it on or maybe I could brush the paper only on the emulsion side and then when you slip the paper in the back side of the paper shouldn't stick to the back of the holder so much because it's dry. So I'm going to try one of those strategies and hopefully it'll work and again I'm going to be using the new uh, newly reconditioned dark slides. So I'll uh, keep you guys in touch with this new project and hopefully in the next couple days I'll have some results for you. Until then, you guys stay creative and happy photographing.